All right, and next we're going to look at topics and blogs. Under topics and blogs, first we'll go ahead and look at different topics. And you can see here that there are some different topics that we can look through. And we can go ahead and just choose one of these that we want to look at. Again, all the content on the site here is user driven. So you're going to see comments around here on each of these different articles or pages that you're loading. You can also leave comments on any articles or pages that you find here. And you can see that if there's a particular page that you really like, you can click on the favor button. You can also choose to like the content or share it with friends if you like. And going back here, you can see that it's very easy if you want to create a new topic as well. If there's anything particular you're looking to find, if you click in the keyword field here, go ahead and enter a keyword that you'd like to search for. And optionally, you can choose a category or how you'd like to sort. Uh, and then you can go ahead and click on submit once you filled in that information. So now I can just go ahead and scroll through this list to find pages that might interest me. So this is our topics section. You can also go to blogs. And here you can browse through available blogs as well as create new entries. Okay, and the last thing that I wanted to talk about here is a very interesting way that you can post content uh, by sending an email to our address. So what you'll be able to do is actually create a post under topics by just sending an email from Outlook or your normal email provider. So to do this, all you have to do is send an email to discuss at strokefocus.net. And this is again going to convert that email into a post under topics. And if anyone responds, the system will email a notification. So this is a pretty cool way to be able to post content without actually having to even be logged into the website. Especially if you're on the go and you wanted to post something uh, while you're just using your smartphone, for example, you can just send a quick email from there and the content will be posted.